Pheasant out, Pluto. Pheasant out. Hey, walking and licking my drip. Look at my wrist, AP got me sick You could go blind, stop staring at it I'm killing these beats, someone get a make it I'm with two baddies, they lit just like Megan That mean I rhyme with a fashion of staying Hold Hello, hello, that's so formal. Hey y'all, it's Tiana Chanel. I don't do that intro and today is gonna be, I'm just gonna be like curling my hair just cause I want to. And then I'm talking about my most asked question, which is how do I get my hair to grow? Today is currently January 20th, yeah, January 20th, and I cut my hair three years ago on, what day? Three years ago on the 15th, I think, of January, and I cut it again, a big chop again, um, a year ago, and I cut it to a bob, to where it's like right here. Not y'all can see my hair is curled so much shorter. This is like. It's not too much on here. But this is on the other front, pull it down. And it's a bobby on there, so it's all oh, one lick. It was right today, y'all. So, yeah, but I'm gonna just curl it. Cause I'm bored and talk about what I did to get my hair done. Okay. So, I'm gonna just point out the products I use that I haven't switched up on since I started my so I started my, wait, what? What the fuck am I saying? Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, the products that I've been using that haven't changed throughout this whole journey. Okay, so that is natural hair, wet line, Garnier Fruities. I'm gonna say it slow. Wet line extreme, Garnier Fruities hair oil. Um, is my eye dry right there? Garnier Fruities hair oil. Um, the Miel scalp oil. I'm gonna have pictures. The Shea Moisture like deep conditioner. Any one of those is good. Design Essential shampoo and conditioner and That's about it. Yeah, yeah. And when I say that, like, these are good products, I mean, like, I literally probably bought each of these things at least 10 or 15 times since I did the bitch job. So it's not like I used it once and it was good and I tried something else. Like, I stay consistent with these products the most. I might have, like, changed some stuff out throughout the time, but just know I use these products multiple times. It's really not a long list. Um... That's what I've been using for majority of the time. So I can say that didn't break my hair off. Don't know if it necessarily helped grow it, make it grow faster, but I know it's not the reason why I broke off because I've been using it ever since I did the bitch chop in my home. My hair has only been doing nothing but growing, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put some of this on there. But what am I saying? Okay, the key, I can't, okay, first off, let's get a little, let's get a little into the science, okay? So, <laughs> why well, I sound like a teacher? Um, everybody's hair grows at different rates. Everybody has different hair textures. Everybody has different scalps, different sebaceous glands. You know what I'm saying? So your hair is not 100%. If you do everything that I do or say that I did, ooh, that doesn't guarantee that your hair will go at the rate mine did. You know what I'm saying? It might grow faster. It might grow slower. We will never know. But I just know if you think currently, if you currently think your hair is not growing, listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully. Your hair always grows. Cutting your hair doesn't make your hair grow faster. It just allows you to see how much is growing. If 
you're not doing anything to break the ends off the ends off your hair if your hair is not growing in quotes like it's not getting longer it's because it's breaking off at the same rate it's going so if you don't be cutting your hair you don't begin trims but your hair is at a stationary length it's because you're doing something that's breaking your hair off something that's making your ends break off if you comb your hair i know this used to be me so if you comb your hair and almost every time you comb your hair you see little hairs on the counter not full length pieces of hair like this this is nasty but i was just brushing my hair not full length pieces of hair but little hairs that's probably most likely your ends breaking off if your ends don't look good split ends nine times out of ten it's because your hair is breaking off so you either gotta cut all the split ends off so i won't rip up further or because your whole no I'm, ne I'm never gonna suggest anybody to just cut all their hair off you know like i did that but like i really wanted to do it like i regret nothing from that um situation but there's other people that will because they feel like they don't need to like if you don't absolutely don't need to don't do it but um a lot of talking not a lot of doing and explaining what exactly i did to grow my hair out. i'm gonna show pictures now from for now on okay what i did to grow it out so besides like the products i use this is what i would do so when i first cut my hair when i was wearing it natural most of the time no wigs um not even braids yet no wigs no braids not straining none of that when it was like short to the scalp I wash my hair every week, basically, because I was basically putting it gel in it every other day. So I wash my hair once a week and deep condition at least twice a month. Okay, so I did that all up until like April, May. This was during like spring break of my senior year in high school. So, um, yeah, spring break senior year in high school. April, May-ish. I got braids for the first time. I kept those in for like a month and a half. Two months. Seen some growth. Had my hair out again for like maybe a couple months. Maybe a month at the most. No, that's probably like a month or two. And then I got braids again for like a month and a half. Two months. Damn near. Had my hair out. Like the first week of like senior year, not my hair junior year. So spring break junior year, yeah, of high school. And then senior year beginning, I had my hair out for like a week. I'm literally telling y'all the process. You know what I'm saying? Cause I keep on saying protective style. And I don't think y'all realize that's like a big factor, especially if you're keeping up with your ends to help grow your hair out. But that's why I'm going so in debt, debt, debt. So, yeah, beginning of senior year, I had it out for like a week or two. No, I had it out for like a month. Shit, sure, yeah, I can't remember. But I think, I'm pretty sure it's like a month. And, um, what did I do? I had it out for like a month. And I got, then I got like a closure stow in in like September. And I kept that in for a long ass time. Then I got it at the end of December. Like what? September? The end of September. And I ended up taking it out December, like early de December. So end of September, early December. And then had my hair off for a while for January. What did I get again? Oh, closer someone. And then yeah, I had my hair out for like a month again, January. I'm trying to think, y'all. I haven't been a senior in so long. And then I got clip-ins. Okay, this is where it kind of went wrong. So, had my hair out January, most of January. Then I got clip-ins, but in the mid-January, which was like a year after I initially cut my hair. And yeah, it was a year, officially a year after I cut my hair. And it just went downhill. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I basically asked her, cause I never went to 
the actual salon to get my hair cut to begin with. I cut it all off myself. But it was so short that like, it didn't even really matter. Like you couldn't tell until it started growing out. Like the length differences and stuff like that. So I just wanted her to cut it even. That went wrong, I ended up with very choppy layers. And yeah, okay, so from then, once I took the clip bins out, of course I realized this shit is choppy as hell. This isn't cute. Cause one of the main reasons why I cut my hair is because the front was so much shorter than the rest of my head. So like, even if I did have a lot of length in the back from the front, it was like this short. It was all broken out. So the front was super short. It was just bad, terrible layers. And I just knew I was gonna have to wait a whole nother year or so until I could grow it out to the length that I wanted to be in the front to cut it into a bob. Cause I didn't want to repeat how my hair was. I don't want to repeat how my hair was um, before I cut it off, cause that would be pointless. So basically I grew my hair out for the rest of senior year. Um, let me see. I'm trying to stay on track, y'all. I grew my hair out. Okay, okay, so I got the choppy. Yeah, I got the choppy clip-ins. I'm trying to start off from where I ended. So clip-ins, took it out here, choppy, right? Then I got some more braids. I kept those in for like, probably like a week or two, cause they were feeding braids. And then after that, my hair was out for a while because of COVID. And that's when COVID was fresh. It was in quarantine and I really wasn't going anywhere for real. Cause we didn't know like how bad it could be. So I didn't get my hair um, braided or anything until, as I took them out in the February, I didn't get my hair braided again until May. And I kept those in for like a month and a half. Two months, had my hair out for like a couple weeks. Put my first wig on. And put my second wig on and had that on for about a month. So now we're into like October, freshman year of college. And what's going on? Let me see. October freshman year college. Oh, my hair's out. My hair's out beginning of October. I mean like end of September, beginning of October for like a couple weeks or so. But I get my hair braided. I keep the braids in until like the end of, like mid-December I think, or beginning of December. And um, yeah, I keep it on in that long. And uh, yeah, at this point, I don't know what was going through my head, but I decided to stop telling my hair journey and just do my hair. Um, literally completely forgot about the point of the video, like a dumbass. But anyways, I'm going to just do the rest of voiceover and add pictures like I did before. But at this point, I think y'all see the trend. Basically, a lot of people ask me all the time, like, how do you get your hair to grow? How do you get your hair to grow? And it's like... I tell them simply like protective styles like that is the key that is the key it was the key for me so as y'all seen from the previous months or whatever I would go like maybe like two weeks wearing my natural hair a month wearing a protective style or a month and a half and that's basically how it went all up until now basically so I'm just gonna add pictures and stuff like that into like current day from the date that I ended off where I decided to just stop talking but that is the trend basically one more time protective styles protective styles protective styles mind you you have to know how to take these styles out without damaging your hair too so it's a lot of key things like even with wigs like i be putting glue on my edges with wigs i literally put glue on my edges because i feel like it makes the hairline more natural and all this extra stuff other people can't do that so with that being said it's like you really got to learn what works for your hair for your hair specifically and go off of that so it's like you don't have to do exactly what i did for everything but 
protective styles do what protective styles works for you Wigs don't wear braids the braids don't wear cornrows or braid outs or whatever but that is the blueprint y'all i hope y'all enjoy and people ask like a lot of people are asking me for a video how i did the curls in my previous videos and that's how i did the curls with this curling iron and it's gonna be linked down below and at first it get real granty but once you comb it out and you fluff it up it do a little some a lot of some actually so yeah y'all can just enjoy the rest of the video i'm done talking if y'all have any questions feel free to ask i will try my best to answer most if not all <laughs>